Are you struggling to centralize your data from multiple sources and make it actionable? Managing data and making it actionable, right? Integration manually can time consuming and error prone. So welcome to the Fivetran, the ultimate platform for automating data pipelines and streamlining your analytic workflow. In the step-by-step -step guide video, I will walk you through how to use Fivetran to connect data sources, transform raw data, and deliver clean, ready to analyze data sets to your warehouse all without writing a single line of code. So this is just an introduction video and I will try to explain as much as possible. So before we get started, let's break down what's make Fivetran stand out. According to their website, Fivetran is a powerful data integration platform designed to automate the process of moving data from various sources into a centralized warehouse. We know this. Now let me show you something here. The first one is an automated data pipeline. You can connect to hundreds of data sources like Salesforce, Google Ads, in just a few clicks. There's a zero maintenance, right? Fully managed connectors uh, ensures your pipeline stay up to date without manual intervention. There's a data transformation. You can use SQL-based transformation. There's a real-time syncing. Keep your data warehouse updated in near real time for accurate insights. And for example, uh, this is a cloud-based and accessible from any device. It's a pre-built connections for popular tools and platforms and scalable for business for all sizes. So to, so to get started with the Fivetran, visit Fivetran.com. If you're not able to find it, just go to Google, search Fivetran, click on this first link here, and you will come up here. Uh, oh, and there's a link given in the description, by the way. You can also use this. Now this is a pricing. So once you go to the pricing, you will see here overview, free plan, and all features. I want to check the overview. You can just visit the website or pause the video. So the free plan is obviously $0. There's a no credit card required. And this is standard five hundred dollars per month here, right? I think this is a per month. Okay, this is a million MAR, right? Six six seven dollars, and this is for the business critical. That is a thousand dollars, right? So let's click on start free trial. Obviously, before using this, you can just check this whether it's completely suitable or not, and do you really need it or not, right? So click on the start free trial. You will be redirected to the sign up page where you have to create an account. So here uh, you can fill up all this information, your name, last name, company, email, and everything here. I will just use my Google account. After this, you have to enter your company name, your employee range here, the country, and your phone number and click on I agree and click on get started. Now here it will ask you your priority. I just want to skip this, all this, everything here. Now what software do you currently use? So you can choose here, for example, Shopify, Google Ads, and a lot of application I use, right? So for here, I will choose Face, Shopify, Google Analytics. Obviously, I can choose more than one here. Now, once you uh, have chosen all this application, you can always search for it and just go and click on next, right? So try adding just two more. So I use Notion and there's always Gmail. Now, great. Now let's help you to grow, um, you know, get your setup. So do you want to set up your Shopify? Yes, I want to set up this up. So I'll just go and click on yes, setup. And here there's a destination schema that is Shopify, sync all historical data, your shop name and everything here. Right now, for example, you have to click on add collaborator. On the right side, it's showing you how you can connect this up. Now click on add collaborator and click on save and continue right and you can send invite so you can send invite to an email and in this way you can send invitation if you don't have access to the shopify now here to connect this you have to just go to the connector setup form here and uh, you have to enter your choose and destination schema name click continue set up with shopify you will be redirected to the shopify app store now this is my shopify store on the left side there's a dashboard just go and click on add apps here click on shopify app store by the way if you don't use shopify you can skip this part and move to the next part right now here you have to search for five tran so just five tran and i hope i get it from here okay so i'm not just able to find it because it's showing me right here will be a destination schema right connector set a form here begin five tran configuration and obviously i'm not able to get it right so i'm not sure how to do this but obviously i can just read it and i can do it later so i will just go and click on save for later and in this way you can just add your collaborators according to you 
right which whatever collaborator you're using whatever application you want to interpret right now once you let me just go and click on save for later for now right okay so i just want to go back just to show you guys i will use a google sheet because it's much more easy to use a collaborator here click on authorize select your google id click on allow and you can see your authentication succeeded now i just need to enter my the url of the sheet i will copy the link and click on share url now from here you can just add the link now click on the name uh, range here and each and everything for example let's say data processing location and the fight and processing cloud processor uh, provider right and once you have selected each and everything just go and click on save and test right so this is how you can do this for example let me add sheet and click on find sheet here so this is some kind of issue i don't know why it's happening let me just go and click on share let me select here anyone with the link copy link here let's come back here paste it now let's go and click on find sheet and this time it works so make sure you set it anyone with the link right and once you do this now select the name range and everything here select the data processing right and uh, fight trend processing cloud processor that is uh, you know you can select here aws or azure it's up to you now in this way you can uh, you know add as a destination collaborator and everything here destination table and let's have just add here i think it's not going to be add right and in this way you can save connections right so it's really easy now once you have added you can see here uh, this step i have already shown you by the way in this way i can explain you much better now here uh, they are adding salesforce now click on next right and once you have connected the apis and everything yes build more for me now click on start initial sync and click on next automatically all the data will be exported to fivetran here now fivetran is running as an initial sync of your salesforce data now go check out your schema tab so I'm automatically i can see here i can update my connectors a schema has columns or change between soft delete and history right then take a look at the transformation tab your data is already clean and ready for the analysis okay that's really fine and in this way i can you know set the frequency sync frequency right for example i want it for every five minutes or one minute so in this way i can just do this right and it can happen here now in this way i can use it and this tools the setup process very straightforward very nice right this tools ensure your data is automatically pulled from the source and delivered to your warehouse right once your data is in the warehouse you may need to transform it into analysis right and this is it i hope uh, you found this video very useful although i was not able to give you a complete tutorial but uh, in some cases uh, let's say i mean whatever it is you can let me in the comment box and thanks for watching this video make sure to please subscribe to support our channel